What's happening everyone? Alan here, currently in Stuttgart, Germany. Got this beautiful car with me. This is the 280 SE. It's built in 1969, so it's very vintage. Much like what I'm wearing right now, looking very on par. But today I want to talk to you guys about how you can really expand your video telling process, your storytelling process, and in adding transitions and making your videos appealing and more kind of characteristic. So we're gonna go through the day, kind of explore the city, and break down some of those transitions and how you can edit them and how you can apply them to your video content. Let's jump in the car and explore the city. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm excited to show you how to edit these transitions on Premiere. The first transition we're going to be covering is the zoom in. You want to begin by cutting the clips where you want to zoom in and then apply transform effect on both clips. Afterwards, select the end of the first clip, make sure that the marker is there, then head over to transform in the effects control panel and create a keyframe on scale. Set scale to 200 then move back two frames and set the scale to 100. This will look like a zoom in effect on your subject. Now head back to transform effect, uncheck use composition shutter angle. You want to set the shutter angle to 360 to give blur. Now go to the beginning of the second clip, create a keyframe, set scale to 100 move forward two frames and set scale to 110. Once again, uncheck composition shutter and set shutter angle to 360. There you have it, a quick zoom in transition. The next transition is the swipe effect. First you want to begin by looking for foreground that swiped on and off the frame. You want to have your second footage below the swiping footage. Look for the frame where to start your swipe. Cut foreground object. You want to roughly draw the outline of the foreground. Don't need to be accurate since we're going to be feathering and blurring it out. Make sure you fine tune feather if that's a harder cut. After that you want to create a keyframe. Now you want to go to the next frame and realign your mask to crop out the foreground. Repeat the steps until the end of the first clip. Once done it should look something like this. Feather makes the swipe effective and seamless because of the fast swipe of the foreground. The next transition is one of my favorites. Start by grabbing two clips that have subjects with the same movement. Find the cut that will make it look seamless to transition. Here the steering wheel matches up with the rolling wheels of the tire. Find that perfect cut, then move frame back and forth to match the subject's composition. There it is, very simple and very effective. Okay guys, I wanna to talk to you about one last transition. This is called the whip pan, it's very simple. You take your camera and you quickly whip it to one direction of your frame, whether or not you're going right, left, up or down. So let's try it, quickly let's go right. And in order to achieve them properly, you really wanna focus on the way that you enter a frame. So when you're exiting right, make sure you continue with the same motion. So let's try it going up, let's go. One very important thing to make note of when you're doing a whip pan is the frame rate. 24 frames per second typically look the smoothest. So let's jump into the studio. I wanna show you guys how to do this, let's go. Now in order to do this transition, you wanna begin by selecting the end of the clip and cut that to the middle of the whip pan. Connect the second clip by doing the same with the entrance whip pan. There it is, a seamless in-camera transition using the whip pan. Here's another clip for as an example. 
All right guys, so we're at the end of this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanna thank Mercedes-Benz again for bringing me out here to Stuttgart, Germany. It was an incredible experience. It was nice to not only test out some of their new cars, but get my hands dirty with this nice, beautiful vintage car that they lent me for a couple days. I hope you guys apply these transitions to your videos. I mean, these are very simple methods to really enhance the type of video work that you produce. And always remember to tag me anything that you upload online. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys all next week. Peace.